Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and, and we're going to talk about a really easy way you could play through a song by One Direction called Better Than Words. And we end up capoing this on second fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to start off on a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to be going to, a, to an F major chord. You know the bar F major. Um, we'll talk about an easy way to play that too, but you put your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, the third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, um, a good substitute for the F, though, could be an F major 7, the way you play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we're going to be going to an A minor, so we play A minor. First finger stays on the B string, first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord, G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, the second finger on the low E string on the third fret, the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's our main first chorus actually, just kind of that progression of C, F, A minor, G. And one way to kind of work it through the tune actually, and what, what you'll really kind of hear from the beginning, is kind of the C with a down, up, down, up, down, and then go into the F for a down, up. And then we go to A minor for a down, up, down, up, down, and then we go to the G for a down, up. So we kind of dig on that rhythm, that C down, up, down, up, down, F down, up. A minor, down, up, down, up, down, G down, up. C down, up, down, up, down, F down, up. A minor, down, up, down, up, down, G down, up. So we kind of dig on that. Or you may want to just kind of take down strokes through the song and doing eight downs on each chord can be kind of a cool way to kind of work it to, to kind of support your voice. And I'm kind of doing that with right hand muting, so I'm taking the flat of my right hand and kind of laying it down on top of the saddle to kind of get a muted quality out of the string. So you know, I kind of play around with that too. Now for myself though, a lot of times to support my voice, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we take the C and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our chord progression. We have C, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down. until we get to our bridge part. And our bridge kind of does this that cool walk up through our chords where we do the F down, up, down, up, F, G, G, A minor, A minor, C, C. Now the weird part is to play along with one direction though, instead of starting on a C chord, we're starting on a D major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your C major is really a D major, your F major is really a G major chord, your A minor is really a B minor chord, and your G major is really an A major chord. But you may want to kind of start with just kind of that intro rhythm, that kind of that down, up, down, up, down, F down, up, A minor, G, C, F, A minor, G, kind of play around with it that way. Or you can do those downs through the chord C, F, A minor, G, C, F, A minor, G. So we can play around with it that way. Or a lot of times well, we can do the down, down, up, up, down, up. I have C, down, up, up, down, up.
I think about adding this song to those bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down, up the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the F bar, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F major 7, you'd have the D for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the G, you'd have the low E for kind of bass, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried it that way, we'd have C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down. So from the C, A minor, G. Yeah, so feel free to kind of take these ideas and kind of mix it up with how you want to do it. But that's the basics of how you get strung through better than words by One Direction. So good luck. <laughs>